Hey guys, this is Damien with Dame Tech and I'm back with another video. So I decided to do this video since I saw a lot of heated debates on which phone was superior in video rendering and CPU processing. Moreover, a few on Twitter, along with some big content creators, reported that Adobe Rush is heavily optimized for Apple devices and therefore unfair to use when speed testing. Hence, in this video, I will compress a 3 minute 4K video to 1080p using not just Adobe Rush, but also other popular video editing apps such as LumaFusion, Filmora, and InShot. Here, we can determine if Adobe Rush is indeed biased to Android and if the S23 Ultra is indeed faster at rendering video when compared to the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Hopefully, this video will end these debates once and for all. Anyways, as you can see, for the first test I'm using LumaFusion, which according to the devs, has been equally optimized for both iOS and the Android platform. Moreover, this is actually the video editing software that I've been using for the past two years to edit every video you've seen on this channel. LumaFusion by far is my favorite app to use when editing videos. And here we go. And as you can see, the iPhone won this first round with about a six to seven second difference in rendering times. Not a huge gap, however, still a noticeable lead in rendering. Now, moving on to the second app, here I will use Filmora as I saw this app being used on PhoneBuff's recent speed test. Plus, this was the video editing app where many claim the S23 Ultra defeated the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Therefore, I had to include this app in this test. And here we go. So as we can see, the iPhone won again for the second round. This time, we are seeing roughly a 10 to 11 second gap between rendering finish times, which is notably bigger than LumaFusion. Again, despite the claims, the iPhone is ahead by two rounds. Now, moving on to the third round, I will use Adobe Rush. I'm still wanting to use this app since it's quite popular and widely used amongst mobile and desktop users. And here we go. So for this third round, the iPhone won by a huge margin. This time, we are roughly seeing a 50 second gap between rendering finish times. Now, I do attribute this large gap in rendering due to the nature of this test. I am testing back to back and therefore, I can definitely feel the S23 Ultra really heating up and potentially throttling. Nevertheless, moving on to the last test, here I will use InShot, which has one of the highest ratings and downloads in both iOS and Android app stores. Therefore, I had to include this app in my testing as optimization is most likely to be fair. And here we go. So as we can see, the iPhone won this fourth or last round in this back-to-back -back video rendering stress test. The S23 Ultra performed much better this time with only a 25 second gap between rendering finish times. Now, again, I do attribute this large gap in rendering due to potential throttling due to the increased heat and stress. In conclusion, the iPhone won all four rounds, utterly dominating the S23 Ultra in this speed test. Hopefully this video can clarify some of the heated debates on which phone is better in video rendering. Anyways, if you like this test and want me to do the same for the Red Magic 8 Pro and S23 Ultra, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you all next time.